Okay, the final video of section 8.3. This is the fourth application, and this has to do with the last thing I did in the last video, which is continuously compounded interest. Okay, so continuously compounded interest. As I mentioned before, it's this equation. Now, how are you gonna remember this equation? I wouldn't suggest remembering it by figuring out how it was derived, because that involves some calculus, and it's not that intuitive. So um, I would just remember it as um, I is, I is pretty, but it's I, I, like A, A, A. Ah, like at. Ah is pretty. Um, that's not a slur on anyone, okay? It's just a way to remember it. Okay? And the RT, remember, is exponent. I'm trying to think of another way to remember it. It's apert, if that helps. I don't know. Whatever helps, however you can remember it, you just find a way, find a way to remember it. Okay. So I'm just writing this out so you know this in your notes so you don't think, hey, wait, where did that number come from? Where did that formula come from? Uh, it's in the text, it's in the text learn, and, but you don't have to like follow all that. You read through it and see what you understand and that's, that's cool. Um, at this point in your development, we don't really expect you to like completely understand that. That's more of a calculus thing, and actually people learn it best uh, when they get in analysis, which is theory of calculus, which is a pretty high-level course for undergraduate. So I'm doing this example. You invest $1,000 at 3.1% in annual interest. Sound familiar? That's the same thing I did before. Compounded continuously. So this is different. Before it said compounded monthly, compounded weekly, compounded daily. Now it says compounded continuously. And the cue the, the, the there for you is continuous. When it's continuously, you use this formula. When it's per month, per day, per year, you use the other formula. So what is the investment worth after seven years? And you'll see I get that number that I got on my asymptote. So you just plug the numbers in. Pretty easy, right? And then you just put that in your calculator. Remember, there's an E button. So you don't have to memorize the value of E. And you get $1,242.34. So if you wanted to estimate what you would get if it were compounded monthly, you could estimate it this way. I wouldn't do that on your homework or test, though. But like in real life, you could estimate it and you'd only be off by a few cents. Um, if it was compounded every second, like a bank, they, that would give you exactly this amount. You know, it's possible it would, it would round off a penny because they don't round things off. They actually cut off the decimal part. So they always give you a little bit less, but it's only a fraction of a penny. So who cares, right? Okay. So remember, compound interest, there's two formulas. This is the continuous one. Okay, that's it then for this section, finally.